What is the crack leads? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be giving a quick rundown because I've been getting lots of questions and yeah, look, there's a lot of newcomers in. I'm going to be doing a video to kind of discussing my thoughts on the eFootball franchise and kind of where we are at the moment. I do it every kind of month. Um, what I saw, Ricky, the true Brits had a, had a good video put out where he kind of gave a lot of uh, a lot of his thoughts on it. So I am going to do one as well and hopefully just have a chat with you guys and see what you're thinking as well. Get a bit of feedback going um, because I do have some news which I will be able to discuss quite soon. Um, hopefully. Yeah, that's all I can say at the moment. But yeah, so look, a lot of newcomers are coming to play the game, whether they're fed up with FIFA or whether they're downloading this just as a free to play title. Obviously, they're going in that direction now of getting, you know, getting it on people's consoles or on their phones and then kind of slowly adding more content and bringing in packs all the time for people to actually, you know, that free to play market, you know, the guys that are playing Warzone, Rocket League, Fortnite now have the option of playing a football game for free with no buy in. Obviously, there's a buy in with the coins and the packs. But that is kind of where they're making their money, right? So a lot of people have been asking me to do kind of like a roundup of, you know, I get questions, literally get 10 questions a day on no matter what video I put up. What's the best pack to buy for 900 coins? What's the best pack to buy for 1500 coins? Is Neymar better? Is Messi better? If you are new to the channel, the same way as if you are new to eFootball and you've stumbled on here, firstly, appreciate you guys checking me out and welcome along to the channel. We post daily videos. We do a lot of reviews, a lot of talking points and, you know, pack reviews and investigate and analyze every single thing that comes out as well as weekly roundups and stuff like that. So I have done actual reviews for every single team and pack that you're seeing here and pretty much every player at this time um, by this time because we've been covering it since eFootball 22. There are some really good packs here that are definitely worth discussing and there are some ones that are not really worth I don't think the coins right so going through these we have a load of national teams that they've released we have a couple of other national teams that they've released as well that you can kind of get you don't buy all the packs but you use the same coins and you end up getting all the players because there's no duplicates but for this video we're just going to stick strictly to what we're seeing here so we've got the national teams that are playing in the world cup at the moment and then we have obviously got the club teams from way back when a couple of months ago when they released the club teams right so we've also got a bruno fernandez card in here as well or a pack in here um so yeah if you guys have not checked out any of my previous player reviews or pack reviews i'm going to leave links in the description uh, of this video check them out so i have every single pack that you're seeing here done and reviewed in way more detail like absolutely analyzed you know compared against standard players like individual players analyze individual players like broken down and whether they're you know providing bang for your buck whether there are better options out there for free on the gp marketplace and look at the end of the day lads right it's your choice whether you want to spin and spend coins or not you know what you're getting when you spend coins but obviously you can continue to buy these players for standard you know gp like the in-game currency that you can earn like monthly or weekly they are giving away a lot of gp at the moment so if you were to look at one of my reviews you will see that i've compared standard version De Bruyne which you can buy compared to this Belgian version of De Bruyne and you're not going to see massive differences or discrepancies between the cards so I'm just going to give you an example right one of the biggest things with buying a pack is that for 900 coins like take the Portuguese pack which is a highly recommended one I'm going to recommend if you are looking for coins right you don't need to buy this pack you can buy the standard players you just need a lot of GP and a bit more time to grind but it's easy to do it like you don't need to buy these packs at all I can't reiterate that enough the big problem all right at the moment is that people coming to play the game as newcomers are getting obsessed with overall ratings of the cards and i'm going to have a video on this because it's pissing me off the amount of misinformation out there and the amount of like non-thought that's gone into it so i'm going to have a video on that as well i actually have it already up i'm just waiting on a thumbnail uh, to be done for it but like look you don't need to buy coins you don't need to buy these packs because the standard versions of the players the big difference is right if you wanted to stay just spending GP, right, and you wanted these players, if you want the Portuguese pack with Ronaldo, Cancelo, Silva, and you want Bruno Fernandes in it, right, you are looking at about like a million to a million and a half GP just to buy all these players individually. And that's not including any of the rest of the players that are in there between Liao, um, you know, and the players that actually aren't in the pack, like Guerrero's there, obviously, but you don't have Ruben Diaz in that pack, right? But if you were to buy the Portuguese pack or the French pack or any of the packs realistically, like even the English pack, you're looking at between a million and 1.5 million. The French pack is going to cost you even more, right? So it is a trade-off of whether you want to, you know, spend a lot of time, which you are free to do, and spend a lot of time you know, grinding GP, grinding trainer points, 
and it's very easily achieved by doing that it just takes time or else you just want to get the most bang for your buck get in you know spend a tenner or 15 quid that choice is completely up to you right so for the purposes of this video we're just going to be focusing on those that are actually willing to you know that want to spend their coins whether they've earned the coins for free through the match pass and stuff or they've actually put in money for coins because i have done a ton of videos covering like you know the standard players that you don't need to buy these players i'm not going to keep reiterating it right so i'm going to go through this fairly quick the belgian pack to me the netherlands pack the spanish pack the english pack and the yeah i would say them just covering the national teams pack and actually no we'll probably include um the barcelona pack and the arsenal pack in this and that would probably be ones that i do not really recommend like if you've only got 900 coins and you're looking to get the most bang for your buck from a club pack i would 100 recommend the manchester united pack if you are going to be getting these players obviously i've bought these players um you've got a lot of interesting players here that you can train up like obviously uh ronaldo is the big the big attraction here um you know and bruno and you're also getting De Gea. you're getting a really solid keeper like your fred is actually really good when you train him up martinez is excellent in the game if you train him up if you have a tall defender beside him which you do get in Varane. rashford is an unbelievable player to have on the bench especially with his kicking power and his speed goes to 99 mctominy not great but sancho is really good and malasia is not bad either so look if you are a ronaldo you know fan and you wanted to get that pack I do think that that for a club pack is better. However, I do think that the Portuguese uh, pack is way better bang for your buck than that. So if you only have 900 coins to spend, I would recommend the Portuguese pack or else I would recommend the Bayern Munich pack. The Bayern Munich pack, I would say, on, out of all these packs, is probably the best value, most bang for your buck for 900 coins. You've got Kimmich, Neuer, Hernandez, Goretzka, Mane, Sané, Upamecano, and Gravenberch. That will literally be, could be on your endgame team if you train them up correctly. As I said, I've done reviews on, the, on all of these players before. So if you're looking for tips on how to train them, if you do end up getting that, the Bayern Munich pack is incredible value. I think the Man City pack that released a couple of months ago with eFootball22 was really strong as well but this Bayern Munich pack is incredible if you're looking for a solid start in 11 or a solid team that you can build upon you've got an excellent goalie really good defense really good Kimmich uh, and Goretzka midfield and then you've got your wingers up front you are missing a striker you'll need to pump in a bit of money uh, GP like maybe 500,000 GP for a striker or you can get a free one with the free Mbappe uh, as well the Barcelona pack they've got a striker but they don't have good defense so Bayern are definitely the most well-rounded the Arsenal pack I don't really recommend that unless you're an Arsenal fan and the United pack even though I bought it I bought that before they released the Portugal pack so I do kind of regret that the Belgian pack apart from De Bruyne um they have a couple of good players there but I definitely think that you know the Van Dijk with the Netherlands pack and the Belgian pack not really great the Spanish pack as well uh fairly decent you've got a good couple of players in there um if you wanted to buy them but what am I after going into here now? Okay, don't mind that. We're out, we have a good couple of players in here, but it's the same issue again that you have is that you have a like a kind of a weak enough goalie and a weak back line. Your midfielder midfielders aren't going to be like you know overpowered either, uh, even though Lorente is a beast. And then the English pack have the same issues as the Spanish pack, right? Now the German pack is an interesting one because you've obviously got Kimmich there as well, you've got Neuer, you've got Rudiger, but the rest of the squad it's just not good enough, man, in my opinion. Like uh this guy and Raum are pretty decent. Uh, Sewell is pretty decent as well but no not for me if you have the coins to do it that brings us on to the 1500 pack uh, selections right so I would say that the French pack is probably the best bang for your buck uh, if you're looking at 1500 coins you've got an insane starting 11 there absolutely incredible squad and a load of like unique options as well like you've Giroud and you've also got Gendouzi and uh or Guendouzi, and you've got Kunde Varane, Nakunku, Kempembe, absolutely like unbelievable players. You've got Benzema. The difference between these packs, the 1500 packs, and the 900 packs is that these packs here, like the Messi, the Neymar, the Ito, and the Benzema, they're legend packs, right? So they actually have um a legend card which are always going to have B ranking or B rating there. So Neymar. So if you are looking for a squad. I would recommend for 900 the Portuguese one or else the Bayern Munich one for 900 and if you're looking to spend 1500 I would definitely recommend the French one and if you have a fairly decent starting 11 if you're not like a new newcomer 
I would definitely recommend Neymar or Messi. The rest of the squad don't really matter. You will have a couple of nice players in the Argentinian pack as well. De Maria is, is, is a beast. De Paul is a beast. Uh, Martinez is a beast. He's like Romario, uh, mini Romario. But yeah, the real attraction here is Messi. And he is definitely worth it. Him and Neymar are probably two of the best players in the game if you know how to use them. So that is it, lads, to, to, kind, of, um, to kind of sum it up. Portugal and Bayern Munich for 900 and if you've got 1500 for a team France and for individuals Messi or Neymar I would probably side with Neymar um he's unbelievable this card is unbelievable um but the French pack is hard to to say no to as well so that is it for me lads of course with the Brazil pack as well it is slightly better the Argentinian one because you get um you get what you call him, Richarlison, you get Fabinho, you get Marquinhos, and you get a better goalkeeper than the Argentinian pack. So that is my two selections, lads. I hope this clears up a lot of stuff. It helps you out if you are a newcomer. Don't forget to subscribe. We do a lot of content, daily content. So if you are new to eFootball, welcome to the channel. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Peace.